Hi, folks. This is Steve Rossetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements 2020, looking at some of the new features in the program. As with Premiere Elements, Adobe has decided to expand its library of guided edits. In Photoshop Elements, we have over 50 guided edits, close to 55, in fact, in a variety of categories from basics like adjusting skin tone and brightness and contrast to color controls, special effects involving black and white and color, some fun edits, special edits, and photo merge. Let's walk through one of the guided edits and see how it works. I'm going to choose perfect portrait because I have here a photo that's not terribly perfect. I'm going to zoom in by pressing control plus. You could also do this with command plus on a Mac. There we go. So we've got a guy here who's got his share at wrinkles. Hey, that's me. And we want to kind of smooth things out and make his face look as good as possible. So we'll start out by smoothing skin. And you notice that the program automatically by itself identifies faces in your picture. And then you can apply these effects to that face without affecting anything else in the picture. So I'm going to click on smooth skin. It'll do a quick analysis. And then it will smooth the skin. I'm going to just look at before and after by selecting from the menu up here in the upper left hand corner and we'll just use the hand to move it out. There's the before on the left and there's the after. Notice it didn't do anything terribly dramatic. Did a really nice job of just kind of smoothing out the wrinkles without losing any of the real detail in the photo. Next, we can increase contrast if we'd like. I'm gonna just focus here on the after picture for now and we'll zoom in again. We can remove blemishes. Now, fortunately, I don't have any blemishes, but we can paint over some of these wrinkles. I'm just going to click and drag over some of these forehead wrinkles. And it softens them also. I have tried painting over areas here, like under the eyes, but sometimes when you've got a small area and you try to apply the, the blemish remover, it kind of picks up image data from around your selection and that can give you unwanted results. So we'll leave it as it is there. Whiten teeth, click on that option. To apply the whiten teeth, all you need to do is identify the teeth. And I'm just going to drag over them like this to select them. You notice you always get more than you bargain for here. Hold down the Alt key or the Option key and you can unselect or deselect areas and only the area within that selection there will be whitened. Very nice. Select brighten eyes. Now in this case, I got very bright eyes. Very nice. But we can just click on each of those and add just a little bit of subtle brightness to the eyes. And we can also darken the eyebrows by selecting that option here on the right. And we can make this brush larger and smaller just by using bracket in and bracket out on our keyboard. So I just want to paint over those eyebrows, make them a little darker. Bright eyes and dark eyebrows. That's really the part of the face you notice the most, right? People's eyes and their eyebrows. And let's go down just a little bit. We're going to add a magical glow effect. Now it adds the diffuse glow automatically. You can choose from a number of effects. One of the things I like about this tool, I'm just going to click OK. One of the things I like about the tool is that the things it adds to your photo are added relatively subtly. There's nothing really drastic. It's not like we put Vaseline on the lens or anything like that. I'm going to zoom in just again on that picture by Control plus or Command plus. There we go. And we can slim down. This is kind of a weird little subtle effect. Click on this and it actually makes the face just a little bit narrower because we're all battling weight issues, right? We'd all like to be a little bit thinner. Let's take a look at before and after. And let's zoom in Control plus and I'll select the hand over here on the left and drag over in here. The program has walked us through the process. I think I got a little bit too much white on my lips there. But the program has walked us through the process of taking this wrinkly old guy on the left and turning him into a young, smooth skinned stud here on the right. <laughs> uh, very nice. Guided edits walk you through the process of creating these effects. And when we click next here, we can then choose to either save the picture as is, continue to edit it or send it right up to Flickr and Twitter if we'd like. Guided edits, a great way to do some very cool special effects 
and the program walks you through step by step. Now, if you want to know more about the program and all the tools and how to do this kind of stuff yourself, you want to check out the moviepix.com guides to Adobe Photoshop Elements and Adobe Premiere Elements available at Amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. See you again real soon.